so he could collect more blackmail from Cooper. No. No, I haven't been doing any blackmail. Perhaps this will persuade you to talk. No, wait, don't. Don't you. It's true. We, we're making Cooper pay protection. What do you mean, we? Who are you going to take that money to? A man. I, I don't know. I, I think his name is Ogden. Ogden, huh? Yeah. Is he the man that's ahead of all this? I don't know. I swear I don't. My job just collecting the protection money. What did you mean when you told Cooper that the Sentinel was going to be taken care of? Nothing. It was just a threat. You're lying again. There are worse things than being turned over to the police. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll tell you. The man's going to put a bomb in the Sentinel office tonight. At what time? It's set to explode at about 11 o'clock. That'll hold you. Quick, Hale, take me to where I can phone. Yes, sir. This is evidence that Mr. Reed wants in one of those racket cases he's investigating. It's strange he didn't say anything to me about it. I can't help that. He told me to bring it here tonight before 11 o'clock. Mr. Reed is hardly ever here at night. Well, to meet me here. You're the Green Hornet. Okay, pal, I'm Napoleon. The Sentinel office, quick. This package contains very valuable evidence. Uh, do you mind putting it in Mr. Reed's safe? Very well.
risk it and go in the office, Cato. Why not remove your disguise and go as Britt Reed? I've got to do something that Britt Reed wouldn't do. There's no other way. Keep me covered at all times in case I get trapped. The Hornet got Bates and left him for the cops. I have a hunch that Bates is going to talk plenty. I'll get Monroe down here. It looks bad. You cover Williams at the Sentinel office in case the Hornet goes there before 11 o'clock. I can't wait any longer. Uh, you're sure you locked that safe? I took care of the safe. Stand where you are. Did this man bring a package up here? Don't tell him. He's the Hornet. He'll steal it. And you did bring a package up here. Would it induce you to find it if I told you that package contains a bomb that'll destroy this building at 11 o'clock? That's a lie. Where's that bomb? I, I don't know. Perhaps now you realize, I mean, this... Where's that bomb? All right, if that's the way it is, I'll leave you tied up here to wait for it. If you know where that bomb is, Miss, you'd better talk. It'll explode in three minutes. Hey, what do you want? We're after a man in there. We're from Central. Oh, you are not. I know you. You have one minute to tell me where that bomb is. If you value your life, you'll talk fast. All right, I'll tell you. It's in there, in Mr. Reed's safe. Open that window. You've got enough evidence to convict him. This will only run him unconscious for a short while. say they'd have to help Williams. Got to trail them, Cato. They'll lead us to the man. The big shot we've been looking for. Come on, Cato. You are going in there tonight? No, we have other things to do first. I told you not to come here straight from a job. You might be trailed. So what? Things are getting so tough, it's the only place to go. What happened? Plenty. Somebody wise the sentinel mob to Williams' game. They heaved his bomb out of the window. And maybe him, too. Bates must have talked. Maybe somebody else did, too. There's been the smell of a double cross around here for some time. What are you getting at, you love? Stop it. It's time for trouble. Well, we got trouble, all right. Why don't we split our tape and get out of here while we're able to spend it? You'll get yours when the time comes. And that goes double for me, too. Can you imagine? 
imagine the harnet caravanting around and me not here to catch him and collect that reward? And, of course, Miss Case is so wealthy that she didn't need the reward. So she let the hornet escape. Yes, and I'd do it again. Listen, I even heard it rumored around that you helped the hornet escape. You know, that makes you an accomplice and just as guilty as he is. Guilty of what? Of cleaning up this city? They ought to pin a medal on him instead of trying to catch him and put him in jail. Treason! My golly, I'm beginning to believe she was in cahoots with him. Say, I should bring my car out, will you? I've got to go home and pack. I'm going out of town for the weekend. Yes, sir. You sure Axford didn't see us come back? Yes, Mr. Britt. Good. We're going to investigate that place we discovered last night. You mean where those men went? In the car? Yes. Bates mentioned a man, Ogden, to whom he paid protection money. And there's a firm, a brokerage firm, Monroe and Ogden, occupying offices in that building. We will go there? Yes. I'm pretty sure that we'll find that Monroe and Ogden are the big shots we've been looking for. Quarter on the third floor. I'll take the fire escape. You might as well know, Monroe. We've been talking things over. What's the matter, turning yellow? No, but just as I told you yesterday, we think the job is getting too hot. Hey, come in here. Dean's raising a squawk. Is he talking for all of you or just for himself? That's news to me. I'm satisfied, and I guess Andy is, too. How about it, Andy? It's okay by me. That's the chief signal. We'll see what he says. Yes, sir, we're ready. With regard to the question you put to me this morning, we have too big an investment at stake to give it up without a fight. The Green Hornet is giving us most of our trouble. He must be stopped, and the Sentinel must be silenced. We're carrying out the chief's orders. Well, I'm still forgetting out where we can and giving up everything we worked for? No. We'll take the dough that's in that safe and split it up and lay low for a while. Ah, oh, we're wasting time. Let's bring that stuff up from the car. Now, Dean and the boys can take care of that. You and I have an important call to make. Andy, you better wait here. I'll phone you in a few minutes. Okay. Watch for the return of the others. With regard to the question you put to me this morning, we have too big an investment at stake to give it up without a fight. Pretty clever, Monroe. Using a phonograph record to conceal from the rest of the gang that you were the chief. Gaskin, if necessary.
Any sign of the others returning? No, sir. Get in that closet and speak into the microphone you'll find there. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, that's enough. This gives me a great idea. Hello? Andy? Yeah. This is Ogden. Did the boys get there with that stuff yet? No, and that ain't all. How long will it take you to get back here? About five minutes. What's up? He just come back. Says he heard Dean and Corey planning to crack the safe and clear out. Are you keeping busy? We'll get right back there. Now, if we can open that safe in a hurry, we'll make those crooks capture themselves. Hey, where's Andy? Monroe told him to stay on the job. I'm looking for Pete, I guess. <laughs> where's he? I don't know. What's that? The signal Monroe gets when the chief wants to talk to him. Let's see what he's got to say. Attention, Monroe. Pete and Andy have been caught by the police. They will talk. Get all the money out of the safe and take it to the Mortenson place. I'll meet you there later. And it's important to get rid of Dean and Corey at once, as we discussed. Oh, they discussed us, huh? And they're going to get rid of it. Come on, Corey, we'll beat them to it. And what do we do? Open that safe, take the dough, and get out of here. Oh, so what a break. Let the double crossers have it. Gather up all that money and put it in the Black Beauty at once. There is that off of it. Every cent of it must be returned to the men who were stolen from Roberts, Cooper, and all the others. <laughs> Imagine me sleeping there in the green harness delivering letters to me. And a most insulting note's kiss, too. What does it say, Michael? My job is finished. Too bad you couldn't catch up with me and collect the reward. But perhaps another day is coming. So better luck next time, you wild Irishman. And signed with the seal of the green harness, no less. Uh, did I hit the front page with that story, or did I? I ought to read a byline after this. And what I'm wondering is, who gave you that mysterious tip that put you wise? The Green Hornet, of course. Judge Stanton and the police commissioner are here to thank the Sentinel for breaking up the rackets. Too bad the Green Hornet isn't here to take a bow. Hey, Casey? Show them it. A resolution passed by the city council and signed by the mayor citing the Sentinel for its distinguished service in freeing the city of the rackets which were exacting such a financial toll. Hooray! Thank you, Judge Stanton. The Sentinel did its duty as it sought, and will do it again should it ever be necessary. the one who re-earned it. Oh, take that thing down. Sure, it is a sight that makes the eyes of me sore. Let us stay, Michael. The Green Hornet is gone. He said his job was finished. If we get Miss Case sore, she's liable to call him back again. I don't believe he's gone. I believe he's just been too clever for us. And he's probably someplace close right now, allowing it is all for our stupidity. Miss Case, you're positively psychic. <laughs> 